What's up, everybody? Fall is here. Check out my beautiful、uh, sugar maple tree there on the edge of my yard. That's cool. Okay, this is the time of year when everybody's cleaning up their gardens and yards and kind of getting ready for winter. So, this is when people throw out a lot of plants, and this is a good time to collect seeds and look for plants and stuff that people are throwing away. So,、uh, in the thumbnail, Uh, let's see if I use it as a thumbnail. I'll show you a beautiful geranium that I got from the local dump recycle center、um, and kept it over winter and it bloomed and it was beautiful and it was free. So I'll probably use that as a thumbnail unless we find something super good.、Um, but let's see what we can find today for free and it'll be a lot of fun and we'll see what we can get. We'll collect some seeds and see if we can find a pumpkin or some gourds growing right there in the recycle center. From when people threw stuff out last year. So, all right, let's get going. Okay, we're at、uh, <clears throat> our first stop. This is actually the community garden, and I'm allowed to be here because I have a plot at the community garden. And we have our own little compost area where people put their old plants and stuff. So, let's see what kind of treasure we can find. Okay, well, I got a bucket so we can put stuff in if we want to collect seed from stuff. So, what I see already, see, some stuff's not going to look so great at the moment, but these are zinnias. Let's see, there might be, you know, in these dried heads, there might be some viable seeds. So, we'll take some zinnias.、Uh, look, here's cherry tomatoes. Here, I'm going to eat one. Mmm. Oh my gosh, that one was really good. Oh man, that would have been the best one to get seeds out of though. Oh, here's another red one.、Um, we'll get a few seeds out of this one. Here, I'll grab a couple. I can let these get a little redder. Okay, we'll get seeds out of them. Okay, let's go this way. I'd like to get some more zinnia、uh, heads. These are zinnias. I don't know if these have formed seeds in them, but we can look at them when we get home. Dang it, I should have brought a scissors. I brought a giant knife. That's kind of stupid. Okay, here. I think it'd be better when they're dried out, though. Whoa, what the heck? There's a huge carrot. What? Oh my gosh. We're growing a giant carrot. Oh my gosh, this thing's cool. Look at how weird it is. You know what? We're taking that. We could grow this top and produce our own seeds. Because a carrot is a biannual root crop. So the first year it produces the carrot root, and then the second year it grows another plume of foliage and its seed stalk. So it's a two year plant. So if I planted this in the house, this would sprout and it would shoot up a seed stalk, and we'd get thousands of carrot seeds. And this must have been a big variety. Oh, that's a treasure. Here's a perfect.、Um, Here's a perfect shaped tomato that's a little rotten on the bottom, and that's fine. That's perfect for seed collecting. And,、uh, ooh, most、uh, tomatoes are, blossoms are self pollinating for the most part, so you don't have to worry about them like hybridizing too much, but we don't really care.、Uh, let's see,、uh, do these have, these are little tiny sunflowers? What are these? I don't even know what these are. Okay, I'll grab one of, well, once my hands aren't full, I'll grab a head of one of them. This is fun. Here's weird onions. Look at, could, I could cook with them already. So look, you could get onions.、Uh, what else do we got? Here's little green peppers. Is there seeds in there? I bet there is. Here, let's see if there's any big peppers.、Uh, we'll take one. We'll check it out. I bet there's seeds in there. Hee <laughs> hee, this is cool. Plant treasure. I know seeds are cheap, but this is just kind of a fun activity.、Um, it's just fun getting stuff for free. I don't know why. Let's take a couple more of these zinnia heads. <clears throat> Everybody's getting rid of their zinnias. I hope these have seeds in them. 
they should unless like animals get them um so here we go look what i found a big old yellow cuke yellowing mature cuke that'll have seeds in it that are probably mature there's some kind of neat that looks like a perennial um yeah this is some kind of a let's set it up here does anybody recognize that look Oh, very tempting. What is that? Oh man, that's really tempting. I wouldn't mind just cutting it off down here. Here, let's set it down here once. I have no idea what that is. It'd be fun just over winter to cut it off down here and just plant it in a little pot in my grow closet and let it just re-sprout as a mystery plant. Should I do that? Look, maybe there was a reason I brought my big knife. Do we just have it re-sprout? We don't need this many roots if we're re-sprouting it. What do you think? Should we take it with? As our mystery plant, we're doing it. <laughs> oh gosh, we're already loaded with stuff. Look at all this stuff. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, we got a giant shrub. It looks like a Christmas tree. We do not have room for that. Okay, we're, uh, here is a sunflower. Oh, the bird's got, the bird's got all them seeds. Here's some. Here we go. Here's some sunflower seeds. Judo! We're putting it in our bucket. Hey, is this cool? It is to me. Okay, that's enough from here. That's enough from here. Okay, let's go to the main spot. I didn't even know I was going to get stuff from this spot. We're going to go to the main town dumping area where everybody brings all their leaves and compost sticks and plants. And we'll see if we can find some really crazy stuff. Yeah. Okay, we're over at the main recycle center for my town. It looks like this has changed a lot. Um, so we got another spot where people are dumping. I, there's a lady dumping something right now. There's a little other pile, but this is where the city dumps, um, you know, the big cleanup projects where they, you know, people set their branches out on the side of the road. Look at all these hosta leaves. Okay, but see, back behind here, it, it's changed since last year, but I've actually found growing pumpkins and gourds back here from years prior, the seeds, you know? So I actually picked, oh wow, here's something crazy. Oh, what? Oh man, I've seen these before. What kind of plant is this? Oh, darn it, I don't know the name of that. You guys know what that's called? Wow, that's pretty cool. I'm not digging that up, it's a little too big. It's pretty neat though, maybe somebody can tell me what that's called. Then I'll learn something. Here, I'm climbing up here. Yeah, see back in here, I've actually found pumpkins and gourds back here. Let's see if we can find something. Wouldn't that be funny? I don't see any big pumpkin vines yet. But there could be. Okay, here's more of them flowers. Oh yeah. These are pretty cool. Look at how big these are. Dang, I don't know what them are. Is that uh must be a perennial if it keeps popping up back there. Okay, let's see what else is in here. See, this is the real old mulch that's probably been here for so many years. Here's another flower up here. Oh, I don't see any pumpkin vines this year. Not yet, anyway. Here's another cool flowering plant. Okay, we got some milkweed. 
Oh geez, here's a huge one of them with the white flowers. That's not a wild plant, is it? Well, let's see, I guess I'll just walk right through there. I, I can come back and get some of these seed pods. It's got these crazy pods. Look at the spiky pods. Ow, it hurts. Look at these pods. I could come back and get some of them pods once they're dried. Okay, let's finish just going through here. Oh, yeah, last year there was like a couple pumpkin plants here. And I actually picked, picked free pumpkins. It was so funny. Uh, oh, there's something over here. Did somebody dump? Look at, what are these? What the? Oh no, this grew here. It just died already, look. We did find something. <laughs> what are these guys? Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Look at. Um, let's see, we, I didn't bring my bucket because I, I didn't know if we'd find anything. What are these goofy squash? Is this some kind of squash? Or is it like a hybrid, like a gourd? It's like a, a, a weird shaped acorn squash, but white. I'll have to look that up or somebody should tell me what that is. Let's, we're going to grab a couple of them. Them grew right there. Okay, let me check if there's anything else. I'm going to grab a couple of them and bring them with. <laughs> that was cool. Okay, is there anybody... I'm just checking for other vehicles because I probably look really weird. Um, here, you know what this is? Catnip. That's catnip. We can have free catnip. I'm going to take a little bit for my cat. Um, anything else right over here? Yay, I'm so happy that we at least found... We at least found some squash gourds. <laughs> I'm calling them squash gourds. Okay, well here, if I have to walk back to the car... Should I just carry? Here, I'll leave, I'll leave a few for somebody else. Here, look, I'll take a cluster. Maybe we can take a different way back to the car. Okay, nobody's looking at us weird. This is all a public, public use spot, but I'm the only one taking stuff out of it. Everybody else is bringing stuff. Okay. We got to check uh, one more pile, though, because there's a main little pile where people are dumping stuff like right now. This is kind of where the city dumps their trash, you know. Whew. So let's go check this other pile. I'll be right back with you. No, I dropped one. Okay, here's the pile I was talking about where people are dumping stuff, uh, driving in and dumping stuff from their yards. So sometimes there's good stuff in here. This is where I got that geranium that's probably in the thumbnail. Um, here's a little, oh gosh, oh yuck. I just stepped in like water mud and it it went right through my shoe. There's like a puddle here. Oh, uh, what is this? Is this a pepper plant or a tomato? Why does it look so weird? What? Why does it look like a, it's a weird tomato. Don't the leaves look like a pepper? Uh, okay. Okay, let's look around. Ooh, it's steaming. Here's one of them uh, silver dust or, let's see what it looks like. Look at that. It's beautiful actually. Uh, are that an annual? Wow, look at how nice that is. Is that an annual, probably? What do they call that? I call it like silver dust or something. It's got the root ball. These are an annual that I like. We don't need that, though. Uh, okay, yeah, so the... Oh, here, see? Here's little geraniums. It, it's steaming because it's warm in there. It's a uh, compost pile. There's a little geranium. Uh, we got marigolds. Mostly the annuals, you know, we don't worry about. Unless we can grab seeds from them. Here's some uh, probably daylilies. Oh, it might be just the leaves, though. 
That looks like daylilies, maybe. Here's some hosta. Is that just leaves, though? Okay. Here's more hosta leaves. Sometimes people just dig out the whole hosta, though. They're very tough. Yep, here's some other flowers. Uh, here's some, like, kind of like daisies, like it would be like Black Eye Susans or something. Seed pods. It's kind of cool, but we have a pretty lot of stuff already. Um, okay. Yeah, I think that's all I see. There's some pine cones. Holy cow, that's a lot of pine cones. Dude, if you're into crafts. Oh, here we go. Here's some treasure. Uh, rose bush. You could easily root. You could easily root these over the winter and you'd have free rose bushes. I've already done that before, actually, from the dump. Um, ouch, that's very sharp. I've already done that before, probably more than once. <laughs> and it was with a dump cutting, so we don't need to do that again. But, you know, it just gives some ideas. Okay, let's, let's take our treasure home and see what we got. All right, we made it back home with our treasure. Everything except that giant tomato back there. That's just where he's sitting. Um, okay, let's see what we all got. Look at our beautiful... I figured out what these are. Jeez, I'm such a noob. These are white winter squash. Jeez, see, I've never grown them before. So I didn't know if this was a squash or a gourd or a hybrid. So yeah, these are winter squash. So maybe I'll eat one of these and I'll take the seeds out of some too. So we have this nice little, I thought I'd leave them on the vine like this. This is awesome. Maybe I'll display them up there by the giant pumpkin at the end of my driveway. Um, okay, let's first look at our seeds that we got. So the cucumber had perfectly, perfectly formed seeds, viable. I'm sure they're viable. All these have to be dried out, of course. And then we have our big tomato that we grabbed, probably 200 seeds. <laughs> that will last years. We can keep them in the freezer. You just have to dry these all out. Um, we have our cherry tomato seeds, probably 150 of them. Uh, we have a couple hundred green pepper seeds. Uh, we have our mystery sunflower seeds. That would be fun to grow. Uh, we have some zinnia seeds. I can't really tell if these, what the heck? Like, I can't tell if these are viable or not. I've never collected zinnia seeds. So um, I'd have to look closer at them once they're dry but I don't know if these are good or not. And then we have, look, I, I chopped the top off of our giant carrot that we found and I'll, I'll put it in my grow closet area and we can let it sprout like a house plant and maybe we'll get a nice seed stock flower during the winter. Wouldn't that be cool? It kind of reminds me of like growing a bonsai or something. Cause look, it's got this big gnarly root here and now it's going to shoot up little, um, little foliage. So it has to be really cool. And then lastly, we have our mystery perennial. Somebody could tell me what that was if they recognized it. Otherwise, we'll leave it a mystery and it should start coming back to life throughout the winter. It should sprout again. Uh, I'm sure it will because <laughs> I've done weird stuff like that before. So there we go. Look at how, how much free stuff we got. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have seven kinds of seeds, counting the winter squash seeds and two plants all for free and that would last me years so <laughs> maybe we'll grow some of them next year to see how they actually produce you know because we can test them out test them out one year and then we'd have a whole bunch of them left if we did like them you know if we liked what they produce we'll, we'll have a ton of them left after they're dry i keep them in the freezer and they'll last forever probably a hundred years just slowly they start to lose their germination rate you know uh, but not very quickly. So, all righty. Hey, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you like this sort of thing, I'll do more of it. Just hit like and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.